Hello and welcome to IT Army. Now my guess is if you are watching this video you are probably trying to shrink any partition and you are not able to shrink enough although you have free space available. Now the reason is that you have some system file sitting at the end of the partition and that is because how your windows writes to the drive. It just writes all over to the partition. It doesn't fill the hard drive sequentially. So in this case what you need to do is you need to disable those features. Those who have created those system files perform the shrink operation and then re-enable those features features or you can use some third-party utility we have a lot of third-party utilities for partitioning available like I will be showing you is a partition manager so let's see how to work with this let's get started okay so first of all I'm gonna fire the disk management tool so just right click and click on disk management and here you're gonna see that we have the C drive over here and I have D drive and if I try to shrink if I click on shrink volume Now here you can see that, that it says that zero is the space that I can perform the shrink operation. And it's giving you a hint over here is that Windows cannot shrink that volume beyond a particular point because you have some unmovable files located in that particular area. And the detail what files are there that you'll be finding inside the application log. So let's go to the application log and see what files are there. So I click on cancel and let's go to right click and click on event viewer and go to the Windows Catalog application and just you can filter over here you can see over here I'm just directly seeing over here but if it is you have a lot of events over here you can click on filter current log you can search by event number like event number is 259 or you can just based on source you can see that I want to see all the defrag related events so you can just say defrag and click on OK and then it's going to show you all the defrag related events. So we are interested in this one. And you can see over here showing you that what is that file that is creating problems. Say that page file. Now for you it could be page file. It could be system volume that is system recovery uh, information. Or it could be a hibernate file. So I'm going to show you where these files are located. So if I go to file explorer, C drive. And those files are by default hidden. You need to switch it on. So if I go to view options view and switch on show hidden files and also show the system protected hidden files yes okay and now you can see these files are available so the the main cause of problem it could be this hibernate file it could be page file or it could be some backup system volume backup over here sitting inside this folder so let's see how to disable these features and if you get any other kind of file just put in the comment and I'll just give you the reply. So let's see how to do these things. So, so let's first of all talk about hibernation if you want to remove this file. And this file is roughly uh, like uh, half of your uh, RAM, how much your RAM you have. So just for that you just need to go to the command prompt. So I just click on type in CMD, right click and run as administrator. And then over here you have to write the command utility that we have to use. We have powercfg.exe slash h for hibernate and you have to switch it off and that is switched off and you can see that file is gone. So this is how we can switch off that file and that file is gone. For me the particular case is that I need to get rid of this page file and that particular page file I need to disable a feature for pagination so I just go on to the start menu and click on performance and type in performance and you're gonna find this option adjust the appearance and the performance of windows and go to advance change and here you can see it says automatically manage the paging file so I want to set it disable it I don't want to create paging files and click on set and yes okay and okay so you just need to restart and after the restart those files will be gone now in case if you are getting the error related to system volume information you need to disable the recovery for that you just need to go to control panel just type in control in the run dialog box go to system system security and click on recovery and configure system restore so for you it may be the system restore is enabled on C drive and you have some system restores created also 
So uh, just click on configure and here's going to show you if you have any system restores created, it's going to show you how much space they are occupying. So temporarily I want to just disable that thing and click on apply and you're going to see that it's going to delete everything now it's all zero. Click on OK, OK, and all those files are gone. So this is how you can perform these different operations. Now I'm going to restart my machine. I'm going to show you that these files will be gone after restart. So I'll be back when the restart is done. OK, so I'm back after restart. And now you can see if I go to File Explorer and C Drive, and you can see that all those files are gone. So this system volume information is empty and hyper file and the page file everything is gone so now let's see if i try to shrink my volume so right click and click on disk management and now if i right click and i say shrink volume okay so now i can see i'm able to shrink up to 200 gigs and i have 200 gigs available on this drive so you can see we have 201 gigs and I'm able to, able to shrink up to 200 gigs. So this is how we can fix that error. And if you want to use third party tool, definitely you can use Ease as Partition Manager. Now, once you are done with this, just don't forget to re-enable those features because if you don't re-enable them, then your boot up time is gonna be more and system recovery won't be created. So just let's enable everything on. So just go on to the command prompt open as administrator and it is power cfg.exe slash h on it gets enabled so you can see that hyper file got created and then performance advance change and let windows decide how much the file size should be okay and then the last one was from control panel system and security security and maintenance recovery configure system restore and for c drive configure and i want to turn on system protection click on ok ok and done so this is how we can perform the different operations to fix this error so these are the three fixes i have shown you if you have any other kind of error just post in the comment section below so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video